ST Dharamaya ji to please address the audience. Sir, the people of Karnataka look towards your able leadership to take them into the next phase of this great state's growth story. We at Boeing hope to contribute to the new tomorrow you've envisioned for the people of Karnataka. Please, sir. Yellarigo Namaskara. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Tawar Chand Gelot ji, Leader of the Opposition, Karnataka Legislative Assembly, Sri R. Ashok, Mrs. Miss Stephanie Pope, C.O.O., the Boeing Company, Sri Salil Gupte, President, Boeing India and South Asia, all distinguished guests, friends from media, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed my pleasure to be here with you, surrounded by the splendor of the 43-acre Boeing campus near the International Airport. As we witness the launch of two important Boeing initiatives by our Honorable Prime Minister. This occasion adds yet another feather to the illustrious cap of Karnataka, a state that has consistently stood at the forefront of technological advancement in India. Karnataka proudly holds the title of being the fourth largest technology cluster globally, ranking first in the India Innovation Index and leading in total exports among all Indian states. Our state is home to 400 of the Fortune 500 companies, excelling in R&D centers, renewable energy, and earning the well-deserved recognition as the startup capital of India. The abundance of the talented workforce and skilled manpower makes Karnataka the natural choice for technology and knowledge-driven industries. It is no wonder why the state is the preferred destination for investments, and I wish to reiterate our unwearying commitment to providing a conducive ecosystem for businesses to thrive. In our pursuit of an investor-friendly environment, we have crafted sector-specific and pro-industry policies. Today's inauguration of the new Boeing India Engineering and Technology Center campus is a testament to our continued dedication to fostering an ecosystem that propels progress in the global aviation sector. I am particularly pleased that Boeing has chosen to establish this ex expansive facility near the International Airport, an emerging hub for numerous future developments, including aerospace and defense. Karnataka has proudly held the mantle of being the aerospace hub of the country, commanding over 65% of aerospace and defense exports. This new endeavor by Boeing will undoubtedly create more opportunities for our talented professionals to work on global scale projects, aligning seamlessly with our vision of enabling development across the state. However, our commitment to progress extends beyond technological advancements. It includes a commitment to inclusivity and accessibility. To this end, we are dedicated to empowering our girl children and women across the state. Karnataka has long supported 
the indomitable spirit of women and their invaluable contributions to our society. I am especially thrilled that this launch of Boeing Sukanya program is not just a milestone for Boeing, but also marks a significant project for women in aviation. The land that has witnessed many dreams come alive for women in aviation is So with this, I conclude my speech. Thank you all. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka. Thank you, sir, for your inspirational address. Aapke prerna daik sambodhan ke liye dhanyavad, Mukhya Mantri Mahodaya.